Welcome to Wayne, another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're looking at the awesome 2016 Sierra Denali 1500 four-wheel drive crew cab shown here in the very nice onyx black. Under the hood it's rocking the Ecotec 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the 8-speed automatic transmission. Now we are going to be taking a look at the inside of the truck, but first I'd like to show off this cool feature where if you open up either the front or the rear door, the running boards will automatically extend, which is a pretty cool feature. Now looking at the inside, the upholstery is all leather and down here are the controls for the 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, including four-way lumbar support. On the inside of the driver's side door, there is quite a bit of storage as well as the Bose premium speakers, which do allow for the best sounding quality when rocking out to your music. And throughout the whole vehicle, there is this beautiful wood and grain trim. Up top here is the child and window lock, powered windows, powered lock and unlock, and the powered mirrors, including power folding mirrors. And up top here are the two memory sets for the pedals, mirrors, and seat. Starting on the left is the trailer brake, four-wheel drive selection, and the exterior lights. Behind the left-hand side of the steering wheel are the wipers and indicators. And on the left-hand side here are all the cruise control buttons, forward collision warning, and the heated steering wheel, which is very nice for those cooler months. And on the back here, there are these two buttons, which are for changing through the favorites of the radio. Over on the right-hand side are the Bluetooth and hands-free buttons, as well as all of these buttons here that help you navigate your way through that big and beautiful uh, driver digital screen there. And on the back, there are the two buttons which are for changing the volume of the radio. And now looking at the center touchscreen, the truck comes with AM, FM, and XM radios, as well as you can connect your phone to it. That projection icon means that it is car, Apple Play, as well as Android Auto friendly. And it does also come with navigation, so as I press that icon there, a map does pop up, which is nice and handy. And there are some settings, text message settings, and some OnStar settings to go through. And speaking of OnStar, if you go up here to the rear view mirror and you click that middle blue button right there, you will be connected to OnStar and they can help you out with any situation that you are in, including pinpointing a destination for you here on the screen. Below the screen are the radio controls, so volume on the left, changing of the stations on the right, the radio button will switch between the AM, FM, and XM radios, and the media button will switch between any USB import, auxiliary import, or any Bluetooth devices that are connected. Beneath the radio controls are the aircon controls, which does include front and rear defrost, as well as dual climate control. So I can add the driver set to 17, passenger set to 18, which is quite nice for when the driver and passenger do have different temperature wants. It also comes with heated and cooled driver and passenger seats, which is perfect for year round. Below the aircon controls, there are a bunch of cool buttons here. So starting on the left, this is the button that, that will move the pedals towards and away from the driver. Traction control. This button here will turn on some lights to the exterior truck bed. Parking assist, lane keep assist, hill descent assist. And on this side, this is the manual override for the automatic running boards. Below those buttons are a bunch of charging ports. Two USB ports, two auxiliary power outlets, and a power outlet. And in between the seats, there is a nice little bit of storage, two cup holders, as well as this nice armrest here with a nice spot to place your phone. And if the phone as well is charging capable and you place it here when the truck is running, it will begin to charge, which is quite the handy feature. Lifting that up on the inside here, there is quite a lot of storage, as well as two USB ports, an auxiliary import, and on this side, there is the auxiliary power outlet. Looking straight up from there, there is this gorgeous sunroof, which is perfect for letting in some of that fresh air and sunshine. But if it is a little bit too sunny outside, you can always pull that shade over and block it out. And that is controlled and operated using the buttons located up top here. And just to the right of that is the button that does operate the power rear sliding window, which is also great for letting in some of that fresh air. And just ahead of that are the three garage door buttons, which is nice and convenient. And now moving to the passenger side, there is a top glove box here, which offers a decent amount of storage. And then there is the lower glove box, which offers a little bit more room and space for some of those bigger items. And on the passenger side door, there is the power lock and unlock, the powered windows, that beautiful wood and grain trim, and the Bose premium speakers. Now taking a look at the outside of the truck, the running board cool action does not stop with just opening the doors because there's actually this button located on the end there. So if you just kick that button, 
oops, if I can actually kick the button, there we go. The running boards not only extend, but they'll actually extend all the way to the wheel. So now it's actually a nice little step here for getting anything that you need to get at back here at the truck bed, which is a pretty nice and handy feature. All you have to do is kick that button again. Let's see if I can do it on the first time. There we go. So all you have to do is kick that button again and they will retract all the way back. And have a look at those 22 inch seven spoke aluminum wheels there with black inserts that look gorgeous. And as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle on the corner here, there is this nice corner assist step, which is quite handy for getting in and out of the truck bed. Lined along this whole rear bumper here are the ultrasonic rear parking sensors, which do go hand in hand with the colored backup camera that does show up for you on the inside of the vehicle on the center screen, which is quite useful for when backing the truck up. The hitch is located down below and the truck does also come with the easy lift and lower tailgate system which means when I pull on the handle, tailgate will open nice and slowly all on its own. Once it is fully open back here, you can see there is quite a lot of room as well as some hooks lined along the left and right hand side, which is perfect for tying down any loose items. But if you do have any loose items rattling around back here, you do not need to worry about them scuffing up the paint or even doing minor body damage because there is this nice spray on box bed liner, which will help keep everything nice and protected. Along with that, underneath either side here, there are some lights that do turn on by flick of the button on the inside of the truck, which will help light up this whole area when you are in a darker space, making it nice and convenient for when you are trying to grab something. Now closing the tailgate is again made simple and easy thanks to that easy lift and lower tailgate system. Now looking at the rear passenger side door here on the inside, there is quite a bit of storage as well as the powered window control. And getting into the back seat is again made simple and easy thanks to these automatic running boards here. Behind the passenger seat, there is some storage as well as there is some behind the driver's seat. And behind this middle console, there are two storage areas as well as that handy auxiliary power outlet, which is quite useful for charging some of the mobile devices. And as I turn around here, you can see that the second row seating does support three people. But when someone is not sitting in this middle seat right here, just pull on this tab and down folds the center folding armrest as well as two cup holders, which does allow for a little bit more of a relaxing ride. But as well as that, I know if you have three people back here, things can get a bit warm. So thanks to this power sliding rear window, you can open that up and let in some of that fresh air and help cool everything down. What a gorgeous looking truck, both inside and out folks. And I'm telling you, it does not stop with the stunning looks because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as having its very own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot which does mean that you can connect your mobile devices to it whilst in the vehicle, which will help move time along for when you are going on some of those longer rides. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome 2016 Sierra Denali 1500 four wheel drive crew cab shown here in the very nice Onyx black. Under the hood, it's rocking the Ecotech 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the eight speed automatic transmission. If you want to test test drive this awesome truck we are located at 240 bond street east in oshawa and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes